Gift cards have become widely popular with billions sold every year worldwide, but they remain a favorite among con artists too. Michelle Medina explains. I, I know this morning I woke up in a, in a sweat thinking about it all over again. Janet Ray is thinking about the phone call she received four months ago when someone claiming to be from Apple said she'd been hacked. My Apple Cloud had been hacked and to the tune of about, oh, I think $9,000. The caller sent an email that appeared to be from Apple support showing details of the hack, but it was all a scam. He told Janet she needed to transfer funds in order to get her money back and clear the account and everything would be reimbursed. Oh, they're slick. They are slick. Janet was instructed to go to several stores and buy two dozen gift cards. She spent more than $10,000 and gave the con artist the redemption numbers. Her money was gone. Every time I questioned him, he came back. He had a very smooth uh, uh, answer to it. Janet is far from alone. The Federal Trade Commission says since 2018, Americans have lost $245 million paying off scammers with gift cards. Anybody that asked them to buy a gift card for any sort of business thing and read the numbers off is running a scam. No legitimate business or government agency takes payment with gift cards. Steve Baker with the Better Business Bureau says his organization has seen losses from gift card scams triple in the past four years. If you buy gift cards and you read those numbers off, your money is gone and there's nothing you can do to get it back. It was one of those things where I absolutely could not believe that I had done it. Janet is sharing her story so others don't become victims of these scams. Nishal Medina, CBS News, San Diego. The BBB says to keep the receipt when buying a gift card and keep the physical card as well. This may help prove that the card was paid for and activate it if problems arise later. Well, still ahead at noon, we cross the Canadian border in search of an international pastry that, as many say in Canada, is at its best.